So, Jim, if, you, if we're looking for life as we know it, are you going to miss life as we don't as know we it? As we don't. Wow. Uh, indeed, we don't want to just look for life as we know it. We need to be open-minded. Pretty cool, right? That was the actual audio from Mars, from the Curiosity. Now, the new rover has basically the like a microphone that I'm talking on right now. A very, you know, good, high-quality microphone. So we're going to get a lot of really cool audio from Mars in the near future. Now, the images we're looking at, I don't think a lot of people understand okay these are engineering cameras okay there's many engineering cameras on the mars rover it's it's basically for data it's to teach you know the nasa people you know how to better land rovers in the future or spacex how to land a you know a giant rocket on mars okay it's for data that's all it is um you know we're going to get incredible images and video and drone footage and audio all that's coming just people need to be patient uh like the sky crane right there before it cut the uh, br uh the bridal bridal cables um and then you guys know it jets off and lands uh you know at a safe distance away like that for, again this image right here it's basically a gopro uh these are kind of throwaway cameras now uh i find it very interesting that we have a lot of cameras on here that we aren't really privileged to see. Huh, you know, it, I'm, just, I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. You guys know I don't trust NASA. Uh, disclosure. Let's talk about it. Aliens. Let's talk about it. UFOs. Let's get into it. I know why you're here. Okay, I think that little circle right there is going to be where disclosure comes from. Because, look, NASA, their number one mission right now. And, and this is coming from the, the chief engineer of NASA. And I'm going to play a video at the end. Is life on Mars, you know, that we're not alone. I mean, they're, look, they're going hard here, right? They're not playing around. Now, do I trust them? Of course not. This image right here, uh, blue good, red bad. You know, I've always wondered, how does a rover know where to land? Well, it's quite simple, actually. You know, um, and here's some of the engineering cameras here, just to give you, just to show proof of what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> you see for the parachute up there and, uh, you know, different areas uh, on the rover, and that's exactly what we're looking at right now. You know, the images, I mean. And, and don't worry, guys. We're going to get some really, really high quality, you know, images and drone footage. And, uh, in fact, right there, over 28,000 engineering photos will come back down to Earth. And, apparently, it takes about 12 minutes, okay? Um, like, you know, when the rover landed on Mars, it was there for about 12 minutes before we knew that it was safe. You know, so that's, you know, not, that's not, I guess, that long for an image to come back down. Now, here's the cameras we're going to be looking at. Right nav cam, left lab, uh, nav cam, and then you see one, two, three, four at the bottom, and then there's two in the back. Okay, so from what I can tell, we've got four, five, six, seven, eight 4K cameras, plus I want to say something like 27 engineering cameras. I mean, this thing has like over 30 cameras on it now the the drone is going to drop right out of the bottom right there okay just like a chicken laying an egg okay <laughs> and then that camera will film the drone uh you know filming mars but anyway let's let's watch a video real quick
As I mentioned, the number one goal for this particular Mars mission is to find life, life on Mars from the past, ancient life, current life, microbial life, any type of life. Uh, and I and I believe it will be the beginning of disclosure, you know, as far as, you know, coming from NASA or government, things like that. Uh, you know, you kind of combine that. You know, with the Navy and the Pentagon and the 180 Days and the Galactic Federation, all the things that happened in 2020, uh, I, I think we're headed towards disclosure, just like I told you guys back in 2020. So here's a few videos from NASA last night. So, Jim, if, you, if we're looking for life as we know it, are you going to miss life as we don't as know we it? As we don't. Wow. Uh, indeed, we don't want to just look for life as we know it. We need to be open-minded. And that required is forever. If we get it back here on Earth, we can interrogate it, we can, we can create theories on, hey, we might see different types of life than we expected. The record is here to continue that discussion and then eventually prove your theories or disprove them and, and tell us about what Mars could have, could have uh, uh, harbored life in its past.